Hi, in this video we'll learn some basics of R. Let's start with familiar arithmetic operations on numbers. R can be used to perform simple calculations like if you want to add two numbers, let's say 4 and 3, simply type in the console 4 plus 3 and press enter, the result will be displayed. If you want to subtract two numbers, simply type 4 minus 3 in the console and press enter. The result will be displayed. If you want to multiply, you just need to type 4 star 3 and the result will be displayed when you want to press enter. To divide, you are going to just type 4 slash 3 and then press enter the result will be displayed in the console. You can also create a variable and store a value in that variable so that we can use it later to perform further calculations or to create more variables. So this is the assignment operator. So if you want to assign value 7 to x then you're going to type x with this less than sign and then the minus sign together okay and then put 7 so when you're going to type this and then press enter a variable named x will be created and the value that that variable takes is 7 so if you're going to type in the console x plus 5 now and then press enter because the value that is assigned to x is 7 the result that the R will display will be 7 plus 5 equal to 12. We can also use X to create more variables. For example, here a new variable Y is created using X in the following way that we are assigning to Y a value which is X star 6. Now we already know that the value of X is 7. So the value that Y will take will be the product of 7 and 6. Let us check that. Well, if you're going to type Y in the console and press enter, you're going to get 42, which is indeed 7 times 6. We can also create variables in R uh, that are not necessarily numerics. For example, here we have created a variable Z and we have assigned to it a non-numeric value, which is equal to learning R is fun with an exclamation sign. But whenever you do that, make sure you put the content within the quotes. Now when, you, when we're going to type Z in the console and then press enter, the R will display learning R is fun. In this course, we'll be basically using the following data types. The first one is numeric. We have just seen that. So for example, if you want to assign value 8.9 to X, then X take numeric value. And when we are going to just assign value hello to y and we place hello inside the quotes, then y takes character value. And there is another data type which we haven't discussed yet and that's uh, a boolean. Okay. So the boolean takes only two values, either true or false, depending on the condition that we write here. For example, if we are going to type 3 greater than 4 in console, and press enter then since 3 is not greater than 4 the result will be false so in this video we have learned some basic data types in R in the next video we will learn about how to combine these data types to form vectors and matrices see you in the next video thank you